it's Nina. Welcome back. We're doing another little rogue video. I have some paint left, so we're going to do a little 12 by 12 for you. Uh, I think these are really cute colors and I really like them. So I have Decoart Emerald Green. I have Amsterdam Prussian Blue. I have Arteza's Pearl Pistachio Green. I have Naples Yellow and I have my 24 karat gold. I also have um, some drips that I just scraped off the table and I have some more of the Prussian Blue thinned out. So let's lay your little cup. For 12 by 12, we need about 5.14 ounces. So that's about a six ounce cup and I'm totally okay with that. Okay, we're gonna put a very small amount of gold in the center, in the bottom. And let's see, we're gonna put some Naples Yellow. And some of our pearl pistachio. A little bit of the emerald green. And another shot of enables yellow. Now some of the Prussian blue. That's probably our 85 ounces of paint. There's a little bit what's left in here out. I'm going to use it up. I'm going to find keeping <laughs> a few teaspoons of paint. Okay, so we have our Prussian blue in there again. Let's go back to the Naples yellow again. Really like that blue and white combination. And a little bit more gold. Indeed, we don't need any more. <laughs> okay, so I am going to take some of the drips and we're just going to lay this down on here. It's just a pretty color. All those dark greens and that Prussian blue in there is beautiful. I'm just going to tilt this out. This is not super, super thin. This is, like I said, it was my drips that I just scraped off the table. Beautiful color, though. And I love when you scrape it right into a cup and it does like those ribbons, like malachite. Really pretty. <laughs> okay, I actually want to do a really pretty ring for it for you guys tonight because I really do love these colors. All right, here we go. We're going to go right in the center, right here. Okay. 
pretty. All right, I love this and I love that. Let's go down that side first. Naples yellow is really cool. I really like that color because it's not really white, but it still does provide that beautiful contrast that we want, especially against the darker blues and the darker greens. But it's not like shocking. It's very cool, very pretty. And I like how it blends with everything else too. All right, I'm wipe my hands off one more time. I'm gonna torch it again. And then I think we're done because I really like that. <laughs> I really like all of this, where the gold blended with the Prussian blue over right there. And I love these lines over here, where the, the Prussian blue blended with the, with the pistachio and with the Naples yellow, and there's the pistachios in there. These are really pretty. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, torch it again. so much for being with me here tonight. Um, I will go get the camera and bring you down for a close-up and then I'll show you this one when it's dry in the next video. Okay, so this is the finish. Oh, I guess I should turn it around again. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and now I have paint on my hands again. Okay, so here's the finished piece. Let's zoom in a little bit. Sorry if that was fast. Okay, so this is awesome. This corner here. With the little fingerlings with the bling. Very cool stuff. Beautiful edge. I like that center. I like that corner. And I love this corner. That's so pretty. There we go. And our pistachio is showing up more lately because I've been mixing it differently. I haven't been putting as much Floetrol in it. So it's keeping its color more, which is awesome. So that's a 12 by 12. That's awesome. Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. I am super, super excited to be here with you tonight. Uh, it feels a little naughty because I am shooting what we call a rogue video, which means HOA is upstairs playing Dungeons and Dragons with our daughters, but I wanted to paint, 
So here we are. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun though. I'm very excited about these colors and I really love March and I will tell you why in just a moment. But let me show you my colors on my canvas first. This is an edge canvas. That's an 18 by 24. It's an inch and a half deep. I take the back and put my push pins in. Let me show you my colors. Okay, first we have here Deco Art American Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Nice and thick, looking mound on mound. Everything is mixed with liquid gloss, medium, and pink, and blow A little bit of blow troll, less blow than usual. Been using more water and less blow So this is golden green gold, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color, especially when combined next to something darker, which I have. <laughs> Amsterdam's Prussian blue, which is such a pretty color. Just a beautiful, deep, luscious, dark, navyish, almost blue. I love that color. And next we have Arteza's Pearl Pistachio Green, which y'all know I love my pistachio. <laughs> and lately I have been putting a little bit more paint, and a little bit more pouring medium, and less blow and it's actually captured the green color, which is awesome. Next we have Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Emerald Green. It's a beautiful sparkly dark green and I just I love using this one. I used this one in Gorgon's Grotto which was my first really big 48 by 60 canvas. It was awesome. Then we have here, this is Artist Loft Naples Yellow Light and I used this in my collaboration with Fiona and Fiona Reverse Flower Dip Collab. It's such a cool color too. I really like it because it's not really yellow like Naples Yellow would imply. It's more like an ivory color. Pretty cool though. I like that. Okay and last but not least I have one cup of the Amsterdam Prussian Blue mixed up much thinner that I'm going to be using as my flow extender slash base coat. I'm just going to keep those up there so I don't knock them over. And I have an order that I want to do. Tonight we're going to be doing a wandering straight pour. And we're going to kind of move across the canvas. I do want to leave some negative space, which is one reason I mixed up small cups because I don't <laughs> have too much and be very generous with the paint, as Fiona and I like to say. Okay, so I showed you that. I showed you the colors. Let's get started. Okay, I am going to layer one of my bigger 16 ounce cups just because I am most comfortable pouring from this size. Okay, so what we're going to do first. Let's see, I'll put some of our Prussian blue in. I have an order that I want to go in, so I'm going to layer this carefully down the side, the Prussian blue first, then I'm going to put some of the green gold in there next to that. Not a huge layer, just a tiny bit more than that. Okay, and then some gold, and then some of our Naples yellow, and some of the emerald green, and some pistachio, and I think I would have another shot of the Naples yellow. Okay. I'm going to go back to the Prussian blue and do it again. There's the Prussian blue. I want a little bit of gold next. And green gold. And some of my nipples yellow. Actually, you know, let's try some of the nipples yellow. Nipples yellow. And emerald. And pistachio. And nipples again. And Prussian. Actually, let's go gold first, then Prussian. So that's good. that's ready to go. Bring these Put that up there. Bring this down here. Okay. I'm gonna put our base coat down. I'm gonna check to make sure it's thin. And it is I'm not leaving the mound. Pretty much sinking right away. Okay. So I said I was gonna tell you why March is one of my favorite months. <laughs> First of all, it's because spring is starting to show up. You know, all the little trees have little buds on them, and the birds are singing again, and my succulents start doing amazing things. It's, an, it's a lovely time of year. But the other reason that I really love March, <laughs> you're going to laugh about this. So we don't eat a lot of fast food. We don't eat McDonald's all the time or anything like that. But the one thing that I love, shamrock shakes. <laughs> from McDonald's. But the pearl pistachio green, man, that's a pretty close to shamrock shake color right there. So, we're gonna start from over here and we're gonna pour this in a wandering straight pour kind of across the canvas. Here we go. Actually looks really awesome. I'm loving this and I love this sort of chevron sort of pattern we've gotten going on. So of course I want to take it all the way down there. We're gonna see where the paint wants to go. I'm gonna go nice and slow and walk it down. 
both to try to spread the paint evenly and to maintain the integrity of that pretty nifty design we've got going on there. So the really cool thing that I wanted to tell you about was using your base coat color in your pour because that actually creates a really cool effect when it, like over here, where it goes over, that Prussian blue is the same as the color of the base coat. So it kind of looks like this, the pour is floating on top of that, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, so we've got to the other side. And we're gonna go down back towards the middle again. I'm gonna kind of take it up that way a little bit. I'm not crazy about that bit of green gold on the bottom, so I think I'm gonna go take that off. And I'm gonna take it out a little bit. I don't wanna go all the way, because I do wanna keep some of that negative space. So I'm gonna bring this back now. Ooh, that top part is opening up, that's so pretty. We're going to come down this way now. And take this down across that way a little bit. So let's look at this for a second. What do I like and what do I not like? Let's see. Painter stick. Okay. So I'm loving this. This is amazing. You guys can see. This part is so beautiful right there with that Prussian blue and these lines of the gold. That's really gorgeous. This is interesting. I kind of like that. I love that corner. This is pretty, this is cool, this is really neat. I'm not sure I love this. This is okay, this is awesome. I love this part. I really like this, it's the same as that almost, but a little darker. So let's see, we could still stand to lose a little bit of paint here. Let's see, let's see where the weight of the paint is. If I can line it up here and we can just take some of this off, that would be really cool. that's going to stretch out all of that. I don't want to lose our negative space and I don't want to lose that really cool part on top. Okay, so that was good because it took some of that off, that green gold that I wasn't crazy about there. Let's take this back this way a little bit and let that top part of the stretch out again because that's awesome. And if we get the weight of the paint back over here, we could take some of this off if we wanted to. I think I kind of like what's happening here though. Because there's some awesome things in there. But this is really cool. <laughs> I love this. That's awesome right in there. So, I don't think I'm going to take any more off, actually. I think I kind of like it how it is. Um, yeah, let's give it a torch. And I'll fix my corners and edges, and then we'll come back and see what's what. This is really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like some. That's because that was actually in the pour. That wasn't part of the base coat, and so that green was in there, and that's coming up. Okay. So I'll just put some paint over here. 
Is it? Is it there? There. It's where? So I love these greens. I love all these colors together. I really love that emerald green. It does amazing things. And you see the Prussian blue in here with that gold and the Naples yellow. It's really, really pretty. When that green gold dries, it's not gonna look like that weird mossy color. It's gonna be actually very, very pretty. So this is kind of neat. Um, I'm a little tempted to take this corner down more and take some more paint off of here and maybe lose this. Then I think it would be too green and I actually really like that negative space. So I think we're going to stop here with this one and uh, let's give it a torch. Okay, so I've taken the camera down and I'm going to show you some of these really beautiful details. I do apologize for that glare. It's a big huge light. I love these cells. Look how cool they that's awesome. Really cool stuff. And I love this corner. That is really, really pretty. And then the part that I like most, of course it's one tiny corner, is over here. So this is just awesome. That's so pretty. So this is very cool. And uh, I will show you when it's dry in the next video. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.